We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. You guys keep killing it. Guys, it's Mr. Aha Ha here again. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, man. You know what that means, right? Another giveaway. But this time, we need your help. We're picking the two winners based on whoever gives us the best ideas for future upcoming videos. Suggestions on videos that you haven't seen, things that you always wanted to hear about and no one's talked about. Let me know, we're reading the comments. The winners will be announced in the next video. So stay tuned, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace. What's up guys, it's Mr. Ahaha here again. The second edition of the Getting to Know segment. Our first guest that's not myself is the Matt Costello, Michigan State legend. And we're just gonna get to know him a little bit and basically that's it, let's get into it. Mr. Ahaha. Hey. Falling to our vehicles like a beast. Hey. Mommy be the captain of our sheep. Hey. Okay, Matt. The first question is, when and why did you start playing basketball? I started playing basketball five years old. Um, there was a little church league that my parents ran. It was called Upwards, and I, that was my first organized basketball. Uh, but basketball's been in my family forever. My dad played for co in college. My grandpa played in college, and so it just seemed like a natural step. I was always around it, so it just kept open. When did you know that that's what you wanted to do professionally? Honestly, not until like the end of my junior, beginning of my senior year. Um, I went to college with the, with the idea that I was gonna just go to college, get education, and move on from there. I didn't think, like, I had no thoughts of professional basketball. And then get getting towards the end of my college career, a couple of agents started calling and said, you like, you have an opportunity. I thought, oh, okay, like, let's try this. And yeah, it's worked out. What's your biggest regret in your playing career? Probably the biggest regret is not trusting in my ability sooner. Um, I tried to listen to a lot of coaches, which, you gotta listen to your coach, of course, but like, uh, I knew what I could do, but I tried to completely conform my game to what certain coaches wanted. And slowed, my, slowed down my development. What's your proudest moment? Basketball-wise, probably going to the Final Four. 2015, we had Travis Trice, Denzel Valentine, Brim Forbes, Brandon Dawson. Uh, like, it, it was it was squat. It was, it was a lot of fun that year. See, and just to interject, in 2015, I was in junior college and I was a fan of everyone that was Division One, And to see how life has brought us together, this is a guy I was watching since I was in Australia. And it's, it's just amazing to be his teammate. He's such a good person, but that's a part of it. How did playing for Tom Izzo at Michigan State help you? I think the biggest thing that he that he rubbed off on everybody was the nonstop work, work ethic. Like, the man's insane. I've never seen anybody like him as far as like how hard he pushes people, how much he is um, at the gym, in the office, watching film. I think he takes it a little too far sometimes as far <laughs> as like making it his life. Mm -hmm. But it does show you that you can be great. And he'll, he'll say it himself. He's like, I'm not the best coach, but I'm the hardest worker. Mm. Uh, and so that you can be successful without being the best at something. What does life after basketball look like for you? Um, I think I still want to be around the game. Uh, I don't know what capacity yet, whether it's uh, some type of coaching or scouting or, um, or, or, or at what level. I, I mean, I would like to be around the NBA, but you know, there's only so many jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, so just keep hoping as long as I can um, until it's time for my family to go home. And then, figure it out from there, but hopefully around basketball in some sense. And speaking of family, you're a great father, devoted father, great husband from what I've heard. Do you want your kids to follow in your footsteps with basketball? You know, um, yes, but I would like it to be measured. I, I've seen so many parents uh, around like where I grow up that say, hey, this is going to be my kid's ticket out. This is going to be my kid's ticket to their success. Yeah. And it's great if it all works out, but if it doesn't, you're left holding your shirt in your hand and it's like you got nowhere else to go so um, I want them to work hard I want them to do the best they can but if it's not it I want them to be able to have some other option um, so just trying to teach them that as they grow up right now they're so little they're little, but, you know amazing. once they get to that spot amazing and the last personal question it's not really a question but compare Matt Costello the human being to Matt Costello the basketball player <laughs> <laughs> two different people, bro. Yeah, yeah. Two different people. It's it's bad out there. Like I love my kids coming to the games and they have a great time, but I really don't want them to see me when I'm hooping. Sometimes it gets bad. But anyways, no. I, I at home, like I, I like goofing around, having a good time. You know, it's pretty even keeled. Mm -hmm. Then on the court, I really got to work on my anger. <laughs> 
So now this this next segment is just this or that. Sparkling water or still water? Sparkling water. My wife that changed me. Okay. When we started dating. Even before I came overseas, she was like, hey, try this out. I was like, this is awful. Like, I hate this. <laughs> me too. But then she just kept shoving it at me. All right, fine. Gotcha. And I just got used to it. Reading books or listening to music? Reading books, a million percent. I like to do both at the same time, but the music has like background, background music, not like actually listen, not actively listen. Gotcha. White wine or red wine? Red. Why not feel like a girl? <laughs> <laughs> living by the farm or living by the beach? Living by the beach. I like the I like the farm, but the beach is uh, you can't beat that. We had that in Grand Canaria, bro. I'm, Best living situation. Coffee or beer? Yes. Oh. No, no, no. I knew how this one would get you, but uh. we need an answer. Come on now. Oh, man. Probably have a beer. In my okay, head. okay. Too many good times in the summer. Respect. Would you rather lose one hand or lose one foot? Foot. A million percent. I'm okay not being able to go fast, but if okay. I can't grab stuff. Okay. Dunk on somebody or block somebody's dunk? I would say dunk. Dunk <clears throat> feels a lot like. A lot better. Are you a night owl or early bird? Early bird. Okay. YouTube or Netflix? YouTube. Okay. YouTube. Uh, Netflix has <clears throat> been played out a little bit. Okay. Two million cash now or a hundred thousand every year? Two million cash now. What are you gonna do with two million cash now? Put it straight in an investment account and start uh, letting it multiply. Letting, letting it go. Okay. okay. Think about someone that you love in your life. Okay. Whoever you thought of, show them some appreciation right now. I would just say my wife, man. She has literally carried our family the last seven, eight years. Uh, having, working on a third kid right now. Uh, she's taking care of two sick kids right now. Uh, all by herself, family comes once every blue moon. But she's a rock, I love you, sweetie. I got goosebumps listening to that. Guys, our first guest, Matt Costello, one of my favorite people on the team. I'm, I'm glad to be his teammate. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Getting to Know segment. It's Mr. Aha. -ha. That was one take and that was natural, guys. See you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on my social media accounts. Let's get it.